Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to do a page in this book here, Intricate Ink Animals in Detail, coloring book by Tim Jeffs. And I'm going to be doing inking. Boom. <laughs> I got all of my distress ink out. I also have a pile over here, different colors. Um, we're going to see what we end up using. Okay, I've got these. These are called the mini detail uh, tools that uh, Tim Holtz has out. They're under Ranger. So this would be the mini ones and the, or the mini detail ones. These are the mini ones and these are just like um, the foam that comes off and on on these. These are permanently put on here with a little blob of glue. And uh, I've got three of those in like a green, a brown, and a bluish green. You notice I never clean these. Um, it's just the way I am. So we're going to start off this page I'm doing turtle. <laughs> and I will probably be pausing the video here and there so I can cough and I do have to drink some tea. Or uh, the whole video is gonna go haywire. So we're going to start off with some brown in his shell and we'll start with a little bit of the yellow and a brighter yellow. So this one is squeezed lemonade and this one is scattered straw. And then we'll go in with probably a little wild honey going in this direction. And then for our reddish brown it's vintage photo. So we'll start with those see how we get along here. Um, I'm going to use this one. It's got green in it, so I'm going to probably use this side here, trying to get it a little more yellow in just some spots. So I'll put some ink on, and in like the raised areas, I want to get a little yellow in. Right about there. That's a good color. Okay, then we're going to get a little bit of the um, scattered straw, deeper, darker color. Mix it right on top of there. All right, we'll put a little bit up here in the head. And a little on this foot. Maybe a little on this foot too. Okay. Down his neck maybe. Right under that shell. Alright, two colors. I'm gonna go in with the vintage photo, changing to this one to make it browner. Okay. Vintage photo has a little red in it. So we're just going to go around the bottom of the shell. In his feet. Kind of up on that side. Foot. And then around his nose. Okay. I'm going to do it the lid. Always nice to know where your lids are. I can change it again. And we're going to use this. Did I use that one? We're going to use this brighter one. I don't know which one I used. We'll use this one. We're going to go in with... Um, Salvage Bettina and a Cracked Pistachio. And then if I want to make it greener, I'm going to throw in a little peeled paint. So we'll start off with the uh, Salvaged Bettina.
little of the cracked pistachio. And we'll bring in some peeled paint. Okay. I'm going to make sure I know where I'm putting all the colors that I used. Going to change into a, a smaller little brush here and we're going to add in some tumbled glass being blue-ish color. <laughs> Hope that's picking up the blue. Adding in shadows. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of purple. Going to use the same thing, and we're just going to add that in there. Okay, let's see, we're going to bring in a little bit of um, brushed corduroy. It's got a little more yellow in it. There we go. We're going to darken his eye. 
with um, a gel pen. That'll make that nice and dark. And then I'm going to take, let's get that pencil um, burnt umber here. And we're going to just darken up a few of these little places. A green, we have chrome oxide green. Across there, put a little of that down in here. And we'll get a little bit of, um, I throw that in there, need those pencils out, <clears throat> light yellow ochre. And we need a gray here. It's a cool gray. Let me shadow that just a little bit more here.
a little highlight in his eye. And I'm going to call it done. Here we go. <laughs> As always, I will leave a picture at the end of the video so you can look at it in a little more detail. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Take care everyone. Bye now.